Hey everyone, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. In this video, I'm just showing a couple builds I did for server, actually. Um, so they're kind of different than what I usually do. I've got a few more vehicles that I'm doing like this, but they're more normal city vehicles. Um, but these are the police vehicles that I decided to do. This is my 64 lowrider turned into a police car. And then this is a truck I've been working on that I call Cruiser for some reason that I've also turned into a police truck. And I just thought I'd explain kind of how I converted them and so on. So those of you that know, I'll go like this, will know about the 64 Lowrider for the Lowrider competition in community belts that we did. Lowrider, simple, made it just so it works. However, I figured it would have been the perfect base for an old-style police car. So that's exactly what I did. The wheels are out a little bit further, but they also have a very simple suspension. Try and keep the lag down. The engine was made... Who made the engine? I know I have it. It might have been Honcho. It might have been Dusty. Dismashy. I think this was made by Dismashy. It looks like this one. Yeah, that one was from Dismashy. So it uses Dismashy's engine. It's got full drivetrain. I use the metal axles just so they keep the weight literally down a low center of gravity. Exhaust, radiator, and stuff. I didn't put a fan because I didn't feel like it. Met, uh, adds more lag. And as I said, simple suspension. And you can see some of the logic and stuff around. So there is my typical turn signals and stuff. Just typical stuff. You can uh, check out my other videos, I guess, for that. My recent Ozy truck, I explained that a lot better. But it's basically my signal module and then a breakout so I can attach all the different switches and stuff. As for lag reduction, this has no moving panels, unfortunately. However, it still works nice. Um, good scoop because of that. What else should I uh, explain? It has the separator in the middle, so the bad guys can't attack you, I guess. I don't know. In the back, I open up here, see logic and kind of what I did for the... I took the timer from the signals, routed it over to the siren, put in these little tote bots and stuff so I could actually have a siren, and that's the wrong seat. And I think it turned out a lot like an old car. So, like usual, we have no connection on the door, because the door, that's not usual, but we have our uh, turn signals back in between the glass there and the motor one. So why not? Headlights, high beams, normal horn, and then we have the siren, as I just pushed by accident. But I think it kind of matches the time and kind of matches how it might have worked. I wanted to do a ro uh, like a rotating stroke kind of thing, but I figured this would keep light down. So this might be loud, but either way. And then when you get out, there's another gate set on that one that makes it so that the, uh, the siren ones don't go off, just so it's not super annoying. So you can get out, leave the lights on, and it's not annoying, like I just said. So yeah, I think that works really well for like a 60s style police car for a roleplay city. And it handles alright, aside from... It being so low, I'm going to reload it since I cut out the back of it. Oh, but it does handle pretty well. Aside from, as I said, it's really low, so it's not great off-road. But dirt roads and city setting, it's quite good if you have just enough space. I didn't have enough space to do it there, but if you push it just a little bit, it will oversteer. 
as it's doing way too much right now, but I'm also not used to driving up here. I don't have enough space, but I don't want to take it all around and make a super long video. But it does oversteer a little bit when you hold the steering. If you don't hold the steering and slow down, it will grip, maybe even understeer a little bit, but it's an old cop car. What do you expect? Now, the truck is my old, or not old, but the cruiser I've been working on. This thing. It's meant to be like a daily truck. Got everything you need to build off of, I guess. And I turned that into a police truck too, because that's so low and can't go so many places. So it's basically the same thing. Same suspension, other than I think this has a straight axle on the front. Nope, this is independent too. So yeah, it's literally the same thing, just in a truck form. And I don't think this one even has an engine. No, it doesn't. But, yeah. It should work nicely as a police truck. And it's got pretty much the same interior. Same idea. Typical lights. Oop, I need to reset it, because the timer's messed up. And then the siren on this one is basically the same. I just forget which button it is. There we go. Same thing. It's just all four are in the front, so the back is a lot quieter. And it's a different pitch. But aside from that, it's the same thing. In a truck. So all-wheel drive, a lot more uh, suspension travel. Oops. Better for running into poles. If I had a little bit more space or a handbrake, it would have like could have slid it around there, but it's not horrible. A little bit easier to control than the the 64. And then it has the same thing where if you get out, the lights stay on. But either way, I will have these uh, on the workshop as of when the video is up and credit to Stu, like the engine. But yeah, aside from that, I think that's it for this video. Oh, seven for this. I forget what eight does on this one. But either way, as usual, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.